Hi guys, it's Mark here again from BYC. Just uh, do want to do a video just to show you a bit more detail beyond the actual cooling plates of uh, how I've designed it and why I've designed it this way and where it cools. There's a, there is a, a, a reason of why I position it right behind the actual uh, pot and caliper itself. Uh, so I'm just going to go into a bit more detail about it. Within the oven, I've actually advertised it as a 60-40 split cooling system. Well, the way that is, is I'll just explain it. 60% of the air coming around here will smack the hit and smack and hit the back of the actual pot where your actual fluid is in your piston pot, um, which will obviously be air cooled. And then obviously the air will obviously bounce back off the pot and join the remaining 40% of the air that's obviously rushing straight forward, right to the back of the actual uh, caliper points. But there is a reason for that, why I'm doing it like that. Yeah, there's a bit of a tricky, sneaky slot in there between your actual, on your hub and your, and your actual caliper and where your discs are. And the reason for that is the way your discs are obviously naturally designed is to actually disperse the heat as best you can. So the air that will be rushing around here, smacking the pot, rejoining the 40% and hitting the full back, the air will naturally be sucked up through the actual air disc itself due to their design. Um, I'm gonna clip put on I'm gonna clip on two videos on the end of this video just to show you uh, the actual caliper itself like this. Uh, there'll probably be a bit of shiny backing behind it, like so, just to try and help you uh, see the actual air coming out. So the way you're gonna see the air coming out is I've just set myself up a little smoke machine <laughs> just to uh, just to try and explain it to you guys uh, and to show you really, to more, more than anything, to show you how, how I've designed it to actually cool the actual disc itself. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to cool the disc from the inside out. So uh, you get a best of both roads really of cooling the fluid, the pot, the side of the caliper, and the uh, brake the brake pads on this side and for cooling for the inside of the brake disc out so you're getting an even cool from the inside out instead of just having a pipe you know just smacked straight on the actual side of the actual uh, disc itself which you know you're not really you obviously yeah you're cooling everything but you're not doing it as uh, in a, in a in, say in, a, in more of a smart way shall i say um in a more efficient way sorry so yeah, um, I'll clip on two videos just at the end of this. This uh, the video I'll be clipping on the end of it will show you this one here first, where the wheel is actually not moving. There'll be this plastic backing behind it, just to show you the uh, smoke coming out of the actual fins. And then there'll be a video uh, after that one showing you the actual wheel in motion. So I've got it jacked up in the air. I'm going to stick it in a stick it in gear and get it rolling in the air. And then you'll see from the the actual video of the air being sucked in and obviously uh, dissipated out through the actual brake disc itself, the vents within the brake disc itself. Uh, RPM wise, I'm gonna be, it'll probably be running at about 2000 RPM, which is uh, which is uh, obviously not a lot. You could probably understand that when the car's probably at full chat, you know, 8,000, 9,000 revs or, and below, you're gonna be sucking in some serious air, some um, serious air into the actual uh, discs itself. So I'm hoping the video will explain it after the, after, after I've done it. Um, any questions, feel free to, to ask anything. Thank you.